I was just listening to these cows who are there. Yes. What is their intention, I wonder? Are they? Could there be that they are just resting in their present moment also? That's why they can move so quiet. Were it not for the cow bells, you wouldn't even hear them. Just quietly, you know, munching away at the grass and everyone moving in their own speed. They each have their own look. They each have their own their own way. One wants to go. One wants to go. There's no there's no shepherd here. No farmer here at the moment. They are just moving in their nature. <laughs> it has become such a a deeply woven habit uh, that we have to have an intention and a projection and to dream. And for much of it, we are not aware of the the cost of it. On ter- in terms of uh, it doesn't allow the space that is so important for a healthy life, which is a space that is not occupied or preoccupied. The space of being, and the space of being, is the most important for your physical well-being, physical health, emotional health, spiritual health. Uh, we seem to cram as though we have an inner diary that we have to, you know, plan and put things in and to and to try and follow them. It is a habit that has become so much integrated with our. Um, human uh, uh, expression, and yet I see how much it robs us of peace and of the the space to appreciate the silence that is very much at the very core of of true and healthy existence. You know, when we when we uh, you know. Um, uh, Anticipate or plan or project. You 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 already move away from the present moment. And we feel sometimes through the mind that present moment is kind of like there's a kind of impatience. I don't want to keep still. I I have to move on. I have to do something. But this is not a a truthful. Uh, it's not a truthful response from inside. It really leads to a kind of. A slowly developing anxiety, a state of anxiety that can be just—it's so un, unexpectedly and undetectedly seeps into the being. We carry this kind of energy as though you're charged with some kind of restlessness, and some people even interpret restlessness as a kind of, you know. Spiritual speed, a kind of speed, like a, like a good thing that keeps me up and running. But for those of you who have began to, you know, you're in the process of awakening and uh, becoming more acquainted with your natural, natural state of being, you see that you have not lost anything of value by jumping off, stepping off, you know the. This um, this this fast lane is somehow quietly in the quietness and the quietude of your own being. A different level of accomplishment is there, an accomplishment of stability and peace, and clarity of mind, and purity of thought, and uh, purity of presence begins to emerge within you. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Isn't that a wonderful thing? And um, so, I would just like to take the opportunity, while I can, to to share and to remind us of this. How important to to avoid, um, you know, what did I use the word? It was intention. Intention. Too much mm. intention. Yes. In fact, intention creates in inner tension mm. it's because it's always the being cannot rest. Just like we go to bed in the night and we take rest, we take uh, unconscious rest. It is also important to have conscious rest, also, which you are aware of yourself beyond the the functioning uh, of the what I'd call the instrumental self, the terrestrial uh, being, the earthly 
nature, you see? Integrate that with the deeper consciousness. It might feel in some people, they, they may say, you know, but I mean, if I, if I come to this sense of being empty, I feel like, uh, you know, I'm not achieving anything, I'm just sort of, you know, I, I, that itself makes me anxious. I said, yes, because it's the habit to create a space within oneself. Is um, it may at first appear to be, you know, wow, it's so passive, or, and uh, you know, what what is the point of that? What, what do you achieve by that? And I said, okay, you would come back again to need to achieve, achieve, achieve. But you can only achieve upon and within and from something that you are already. And uh, I think it's important to uh, look into what are you already. Before you pick up something, what are you? Are you incomplete or yeah, some? You see, and don't underestimate the power of silence. You know, not all trying to be silent. No, but of recognizing that which is here by itself before any effort is made, and just be conscious of that. It's not trying to make yourself into something. In fact, we are doing that all the time, trying to make ourselves into some shape. I feel uh, it's a very healthy advice to uh, recognize what is already shapeless with, within you, which is formless and present, so spacious, you see. And in that spaciousness, and many people can confirm, even some of the great inventors and people who are famous now for inventions and great ideas, uh, it did not come when they were pushing their minds and trying so hard also. Sometimes in a moment of quiet relaxation and an interned tension, something gets revealed. We have to remember, by a place of speaking, is that uh, something in us is already complete. And from this completeness uh, comes to the mind, you see, like a gift, a revelation. And then this revelation, it kind of uh, comes flows out into the world. And now, I am not so interested about thing, things and flowing out into the world. I'm just saying, within your own self, to come to that beautiful, uh, stateless state of being, and to rest in it, pay some attention to that, give some respect for that, and see that it is not just a bland, uh, dull, Space. In fact, it's 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 actually even the greatest movements, the greatest pulsations or dynamicness in the life comes from that silence. Although the silence loses nothing to it, because when you are conscious of your silence, and then you may express through more dynamic ways, but still it's rooted in that silence, and that's a very healthy place. So reflect on this, please. Those of you who feel that it appeals to you and begin your experience right away. It's not something as if you do this for six weeks. No, immediately you'll find that also the, the blood pressure for many people begins to just drop by itself. The breath slows down, because the breath and the mind are quite connected, you know? It slows down. Begin to notice. In fact, your field of perceiving broadens, you see? When you're personal, it gets very narrow. When you're in your heart again, it becomes very open. Don't be afraid of this openness. Can anything be more open than God? So when you're in your openness, you're in your God field again. And I cannot try to describe what it is like. You see, serene, happy, all encompassing, wise, and peaceful. Thank you.